All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. We are currently in the structural engineering section and we are wanting to dive a little bit deeper into the design of steel components section. So I have some practice problems for you all here, um, but I also want to share that to me, this is one of the more challenging sides of our problems when it comes to, I guess, solving and going through um, on the exam. Now, for some people, it may be easy. Some people's strengths are uh, structural engineering, but mine was not. So as I'm going through these, um, hopefully it will help you if this is if you're similar to me and struggle with structural engineering so let's go ahead let's take a look at some of these problems all right so number one says calculate the, the design strength the design shear strength of a w24 by 62 shaped steel member where fy is equal to 50 ksi all right so what information are we given now we're given that Fy is equal to 50 KSI and we are given that it is a W24 by 62. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the design shear strength. All right, I don't even know where to start. I think the best thing to do is always to search what you're trying to find, right? So uh, design shear, just do design shear. All right, so design shear strength of a section is the symbol phi sub vn, all right? Phi sub vn, all right? Anything else? Okay, the design shear strength phi sub vn is determined with phi sub v is one, so that's phi sub v. Uh, and then V sub N is equal to uh, 0 0.6 times FY times AW times CVL. Okay. So gauging from this, right? If I just look at this, I know that I'm looking to get V sub VN, right? The only, yeah, this is all I have to work with. All right, after I did all my searches. Okay, so I'm looking for phi sub vn, where where phi sub v to one. This is a it's a web uh, of I rolled of rolled I shaped members. So V sub V is one V sub N is equal to question mark. And we also know that it is, we don't, that's what we're solving for, right? or we're not really solving for that. We're solving for V sub V sub N. So if I have V sub V and I can multiply it by V sub N, I can get my answer. So V sub N is going to be 0 0.6 F Y A W C V L. Okay. Do I know any of these variables? What is, what is F of Y? Well, they give it to me, but I still want to know what, what is that? So it could mean the specified minimum yield st stress, but I, I think that's for that section. Um, So 
So in the beginning of the like the design of concrete members or sorry, this is the design of steel. But I think it's pretty uniform uh for I'm going to go with this, the specified minimum yield stress. Uh, either way, they give it to us. And this FY is 50 KSI, which is a stress. Um, so um, we can say. I know F of Y which is 50. KSI. Remember, stress is always um, your weight or newtons over a specified area, right? So in this case, it's 50 kips per square inch. That makes sense. 50 KSI. Okay. So FY is taken care of, right? FY, what about AW? What is AW? Okay. AW is the area of web. Okay. The overall depth times the web thickness. Okay. So we know we don't have AW. So AW is equal to the depth times uh, the web thickness okay and that's going to be an inch squared right all right what about cvl well cvl is equal to one all right okay so we have that all right so we're slowly putting the pieces together how would we get the area of the web? Well, we know that it is a W24 by 62 web. So is there any place where we can look and get that information? Well, there are tables with different webs uh, that give you different things. So, um, W shapes, dimensions, and properties. So in your FE handbook, there's a chart that has different uh, sizes of I shapes for your members, for your steel members. And you can go through and get the area, just the general area, or uh, the depth, or the web thickness um bf i don't know what bf stands for but inertia moment of inertia of these different shapes so a lot of different things that you can get but in this case we're looking for a w24 by 62 so that would be here right and then we want to know the depth well, we want to know the area of the web, right? This is what we want to know. But I know that from this chart, it doesn't like they give us that. But they give it, they do give us D, which is the depth. Um, and then they give us the web thickness. So they give us D, which is 23.7, right? So I'll just put D is equal to 23.7. Notice this is in inches. That's the depth. And that is here, right? So that to me reminds me of the height, but hey, that's neither here nor there. D is equal to 23.7. Okay. 
what about t sub w or t w t w is the web thickness right and that web thickness for 24 by 62 is 0 0.430 t sub w is equal to 0 0.430 0 0.430 okay so now we can get our the area of our web right so now let's say area of the web is equal to 23.7 inches times thickness of our web which is zero this is inches zero point four three zero inches and an inch times an inch it's going to give you inches squared right and when we multiply this out we get 10.191 inches squared cool so now we have area of the web um we have all the variables that we need in order to go ahead and finish solving this question. All right. So, phi sub v times vn is equal to one, all right? Where am I getting the one? That's phi sub, phi sub v, and then multiplied by v sub n, which is all multiplied by 0 0.6 times my 50 kips per square inch times my 10.191 inches squared times what else one and then that should be everything all right so for my ultimate design strength i end up getting 305.7 you write everything out nicely you know that your units cancel and you're just left with kips okay so my answer is going to be d a lot of parts to put together but once you get it you're good to go all right hey everybody i know i didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks, and we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you wanna make more money. Um, I know that you want to you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out 
want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact, and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories, um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I wanna hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm gonna take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're know you not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching let's hop on a call uh it's no cost to you as far as you know us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um and kind of getting a feel for where you're at um so have some programs where i can work with you one-on-one -on -one, and there's also some do it yourself courses practice exams study guides resources free material all of that down in the description box below so feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we wanna get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and looking forward to creating more success stories so be sure to check out this next video 